Hey everyone, Mayrish this side. Um, I've now moved to SF, so hello from SF. Uh, last week we released ImageGen and it's been really amazing and has been improving quite quite quickly. I wanted to show you a few things you can already do and some of the things that we are working on. And obviously very keen to hear feedback and requests from people. We will ship fast to deliver what is, what is most important to you. So here's what you can currently do in ImageGen. Firstly, I think it's worth just sharing, I think doing like slide level operations in Chronicle is, is what works best today. All our power users essentially do that. So it's less about generating the whole document right now, but going page by page. So let's say I want to create a page on uh, futuristic um, electric sports car. Uh, I know this is this is just one of the examples, uh, but I think it's a, it's a good one to just show um, how this thing works right now. Um, let's go hit remix. Let's say I choose um, a layout with two images like that. Hit generate images here and just click on Remix. Chronicle will now generate those images for you. Um, this has been a long time coming, so um, I think it, it finally works in a way that it really kind of uh, gives it some personality. I think large images work quite nicely, and I can say that we've refined the prompt so that the images actually look really nice. So we've spent a lot of time making sure that these images look and feel really high quality and stellar, as you can see here. With a very small prompt as well, it, it kind of led to this. So this is the first thing you can do with ImageGen on Chronicle. Very quickly, just to show you more things you can do, you can always kind of add an image and you can describe it specifically. So uh, let's say um, interiors of a luxury sports EV car, let's say. Let's say that's the prompt. Um, the model is quite fast and still applies that overall kind of taste of making pictures look and feel really nice and high quality. Um, didn't quite deliver the interiors, but um, maybe one solution that we can use is just type, um, Go to write about here in, in your text widget and say, write a prompt to generate a beautiful render of a car, uh, of an electric sports car's interiors. And let's say you give it like two to four sentences that will usually generate an amazing prompt. And then what you can do is uh, you can just copy this um, and use it as the prompt in here. And that usually generates a really, really amazing result. Now I know all of this is like fairly manual and we want faster workflows, but we are building all of that um, very quickly in Chronicle. So some of the things that are coming up very soon, are this whole dialog box here, we are giving you a lot more control. So ability to choose models, ability to choose aspect ratios, some quick buttons that will enhance your prompt or some style drop downs even to make, and make it look and feel a certain way. We are also adding the same image generation to our backgrounds or even to our cards so that you can bring in beautiful images in both of those places as well. And most importantly, we are going beyond just these sort of photographic images and also figuring out ways in which different models can give you UI renders, charts and graphs, or even flow diagrams with text on it as easily and, in, and by holding this high quality. Um, we're building all the smarts to be able to understand that from your prompt, understand that from the context of the page, and then bringing that to you. Obviously that last part will take a little bit longer, but some of these improvements we are going to ship very quickly. So please let me know what you need, um, what is it that you would want to see, uh, and in the meantime, enjoy Chronicle. I think one thing that works really, really nicely is you can generate a lot of images very quickly, which I think doesn't happen on many other tools. So let's take um, a modern bike, uh, that shows precision engineering. I think um, you can even sort of render eight media and you'll just get a quick choice of eight images all at once, which is quite powerful. And for now, for the first month, image generation is free. So I think you all should make the most of it. We'll soon try and bake this into pricing, but for now it's free. So please please try and use it as much as you, you can. Uh, and so you can keep the ones you like, uh, remove the ones you don't like. And then again, uh, let's say I want to remove um, these three images. Um, and just remix with the remaining five, I can always turn generation off and remix that into a layout for myself. So uh, I think image generation works quite nicely across the board, uh, and I think it does deliver stellar results, uh, like really beautiful high quality results. So that's me. Um, let me know how, how you think about it. Thanks.